So good afternoon. I am Chan Chen Hin.、Uh, I'm going to present my work on my second guided study. The topic will be on、uh, deep learning methods for test classification. So what is a test classification? Actually, test classification is a very important task in natural language processing. A、uh, test classification is to assign a label or a category to a test. Based on its meaning, as you can see in this picture, maybe、uh, a news article can be classified as technology, sports, or entertainment. So we, our task is to train a mathematical model that can predict、uh, the documents uh, labels uh, given the training samples. <coughs> so there are many、uh, deep learning approaches. For test classification,、uh, a very early model includes、uh, convolutional neural network, and later we have recurrent、uh, neural network. So,、uh, in today's presentation, I will introduce the two very famous、uh, out and n variations. They called the long short term memory and also the gated recurrent network、uh, unit. After that. I will introduce the、uh, pre-trained language model, which is、uh, a very useful、uh, technology uh, uh, developed in、uh, 2018, and that's、uh, is very useful for task classification task. <coughs> so,、uh, in order to <coughs> fit the、uh, input to the deep neural network, we have to、uh, transform our sentence or documents into a、uh, vector space. That can fit to the deep neural network. So,、uh, word embedding is a very important、uh, algorithm in converting any words to the、uh, real value vector. So, uh, this uh, uh, representations of words can produce、uh, a, a real value space uh, that uh, every word will have a similar geometric distance as long as they have a similar semantic meaning. For example,、uh, tenses or plural forms, singular forms, this kind of words will have the same、uh, geometric or similar geometric distance in this real value space. <coughs> so, LSTM is a very famous uh, uh, neural network、uh, for task classifications. So, the ideas of using LSTM to perform task classification is. We try to、uh, modeling、uh, our data for、uh, we we represent our sentence as a time series input of words at each time t we input a word t to the deep neural network and the LSTM tries to capture the semantic meaning for each individual words and try to perform the task classification based on the training samples. So as you can see, the input x t with the、uh, previous current、uh, hidden unit we call the h t minus one. So by fitting these two、uh, inputs into our cell gates, to con and then the、uh, the output gate and the the output gate is actually control how many informations will be go to the next hidden state, and the c t. Is actually the、uh, control the amount of information that will be stored in the next、uh, cell gate. So, <coughs> so gated recurrent unit is an other very famous RNN model that can perform similar functions like RSTM. So, because the traditional RNN、uh, will face the、uh, gradient. Explosion problems. So this gated recurrent unit tries to help the deep neural network not over or、uh, like the over gradient problems. So the input x t will be、uh, will be co combined with the、uh, the the previous hidden unit, which is the h t minus one, and then passing through a a a we call it a sec gate. Sec gate is the input gate. Is to control how many information that are、uh, the 
current input will be list to the to the next time hidden unit because as you can see in this uh, the last equations 1 minus t multiplied by ht minus 1 and set t multiplied by ht is actually control how many information should be uh, retrofilled from the last hidden unit and how many information should be uh, stored in the current uh, hidden unit so uh, what's a transformer? A transformer is actually a self-attention uh, and cocktail decoctor network so the idea of transformer is uh, we try to uh, input our data after passing through the web embedding layer the input will be go to the uh, multi-head attention layers <coughs> so this multi-head attention layer actually contain three different values the query the key and the, and the, <coughs> the current value of the input so by uh, by the multi-head attention we generate uh, a a a a linear uh, a vector and then we call uh, and then we we perform a linear operations after the this um, after this input because uh, uh, it means that for every input uh, word uh, at each time t so every word should have uh, different attention ways to the uh, to the uh, to the final output because some words are important so they will have a larger ways uh, after passing through this deep neural network for those uh, not very important works they will have a smaller attention ways that pa after passing through this deep that this uh, attention layers <coughs> so uh, in order to pre-train our uh, language model we to have a large scale of unlabeled data for example in Wikipedia so we can perform uh, a pre-training task on uh, on this unlabeled corpus so in order to pre-train this there are two important tasks the first task is we try to have a have an input sentence A and the input sentence B so our task is to uh, identify whether the sentence B is actually a next sentence of sentence A so because we can have uh, many of many 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 uh, this kind of data without labeling them by human so this is called uh, some called the uh, self supervised learning <coughs> so and the second task is to uh, randomly mask a work in a sentence and then our new network try to predict this word in this master sentence <coughs> so after uh, training this deep neural network uh, using these two tasks we fine-tune our network in uh, using this task specific labeled data that is our task classification training data set <coughs> so uh, So, uh, for Chinese, uh, BERT is already uh, is is not a very good <coughs> way to pre-training our model because uh, for Chinese, every word, every every vocabulary consists of several characters. So, if we only mask one character f in in a sentence, uh, it cannot capture the uh, the, the the vocabulary. Uh, of a of a Chinese sentence, so uh, this this therefore uh, <coughs> the the <coughs> enhanced language representation with informative entities are uh, performed uh, are developed. So uh, the network architecture is actually same as the BLT, but the training strategy are uh, slightly different. So in order to train the deep neural network, they try to uh, mask two or three adjunction works or the uh, Chinese characters in order to pre-train their deep neural network so because for Chinese uh, two two characters contain a very important semantic meaning in in our in our sentence 
so <coughs> uh, I performed to, uh, the experiment for both Chinese <coughs> corpus and the English corpus test classification tasks. So the THU is the Xinhua News, uh, and then the AG News is <coughs> is actually a English test classification task. So we we used uh, the <coughs> uh, sorry we used the LSDN GLU and the uh, BERT for test classification. So it is found that the Pichuing the Deep New uh, Network performs uh, far well than the traditional LSTM and GRU. Uh, it almost have 5% better than the original proposed LSTM and GRU methods. So we can actually see that the pre-trained uh, transformer model will perform better than uh, we train the uh, deep new network from scratch. And then <coughs> the pre-trained uh, models uh, that can have that allows the deep new network to learn more representative uh, language features in this uh, unlabeled data. So our our future work will be combine the both Chinese and <coughs> English language modeling. And that's to combine these two languages to fit the uh <coughs> to fit the deep new network. So uh, in order to do that, we will annotate a benchmark of uh, mixed Chinese and English uh, data sets for task classification tasks. So that's the end of my uh, second presentation for my guided study. Thank you.